speaking to the camera or speaking to the... Uh, it's a bit of both. A bit of both? Okay. A bit of both. Yeah. So that's the view that everyone wants to see. That's, so everyone wants to see that? Oh, I know. Everyone, people watch it from there, this is just for the press. Yeah. Alright, we might as well get started. So Shane, if you want to kick us off, and just direct obviously who you'd like to, your question to be to. Sure. Uh, well done, guys. Uh, Nick, uh, what does that sort of win say about your team, a, a tough win in hot conditions like that? Look, for me, that is, you know, last week was our first home game of the season, so first in five games. So to get a result last week against Sydney, we knew that, you know, we, we, we had to back that up today with a, with a good performance, first and foremost. It was very hot, so all credit to the boys from both teams. It was very, very hot. I thought the first half was was quite slow, um, you know, they started actually really well, to be fair, they probably started better than, than, than any team started against us this season, and I thought once we uh, once we defended well and saw that first sort of 15, 20 minutes out after that, thought the game opened up and, and, and yeah, we create, started creating a lot of chances and getting down the sides of them, Marcos had a couple of decent chances as well, um, but yeah, as the game went out, I thought we, uh, you know, I thought we, we, we managed the game really well and defended resolute at the end, which we needed to do. Do you feel like you're getting on a bit of a roll now? A couple of good results in a row? Oh, look, it's only early in the season. We're five games in, so no one's getting carried away. You know, we know that this stadium, you know, when we get the fans behind us, it can really help us. I thought, again, today was just all about just, just building on last week's performance. I thought defensively, the boys at the back were superb. And, and look, Birigetti's save at 1-0 was, was fantastic. And if he doesn't make that save, you know, maybe it goes 1-1 and, and, and it's anybody's game. But you know, that's why he's, he's a top keeper. He didn't have that much to do, but he had to concentrate in that moment. And, and after that, I think we, uh, you know, we went on and created numerous chances to, to kill the game off. So, yeah, just, just really happy for the boys again. What did you make of the goal from the man next year? Uh, superb. I know, mean, obviously, he's a humble guy, but I think you know, it was his 100th game today. We said before the, the, the game, it's about everybody, it's about the team, but, you know, go out there and, and, and you know, get the atmosphere going and make a memorable night. So, yeah, look, he's, he's been a great servant to the club. He's a top, top captain. He's a great leader. And, to be honest, he'll tell you he's hit the bar about five times already this season. The keeper's pulled off a couple of good saves, but when he, when, uh, when he stepped up, I had a feeling it was yeah, just one of their moments. You know, He deserved the goal and I think he capped, on, capped off a, a top performance, not only from him, but from the team. Ollie, what did you make of the performance and the, the toughness of the group to, to tough out that win and outlast the Wanderers in the, in the end, I guess? Yeah, it was uh, really tough conditions today. Uh, obviously very hot. Uh, we had drinks, drink breaks during the during the game to you know slow it down a bit, but uh, yeah, it made the it made the conditions very hard. Uh, I thought Western Sydney were you know very good. Uh, they played well, kept the ball at times. Uh, you know we we knew how you know they were going to play. Uh, I thought we did very well to keep the game compact, uh, keep the you know the spaces in between the lines very uh, you know very compact and. Uh, um, that also gave us the, the chance to, to break, and, and when we did, we, uh, we we managed to get the goal. And then also, you know, we, we showed some some very good play as well for um, over over the ninety minutes. What's pleasing you specifically about the way the team's playing at the moment? Uh, I think I think just in general, you know, where we work hard together as a team, uh, we attack together as a team. Uh, we've had some, you know. Some really good plays during this game, last game. Um, you know, created loads of chances, um, and uh, you know, if we continue to, to finish those chances, we'll, we'll continue to score uh, and win games. And just on the goal, uh, when did you know it was going in? Did you did you know you'd hit it pretty sweetly? Yeah, uh, yeah, pretty much. When, when I come off the boot, I thought this is this is a good chance. Um, I've had you know I've had a couple over the last few weeks that have been pretty close, but uh, you know that was good to. Uh, get off the mark for the season and uh, also in, in my 100th game for the club. Hey Nick, congratulations on the uh, I was just wondering in terms of like uh, the Mariners have won um, the ball in the final third 30 times, which is more than any other team in the league. So I was just wondering whether you can, like, obviously that's something you coach on the team, but whether you consider your team a bit of like a, I guess, like a counter pressing or even like a gag and pressing side. Yeah, look, I mean, you know, we uh, we work a lot in the week and we've got young players that have got good energy and you know we want to be a high pressing team and obviously last week the skip uh, won the ball back against Sydney in, in a good position in an advanced position, but look, if you win the ball back in that final third, you're closer to the goal. Um, but you know, I thought West Sydney today they kept the ball well at the back. 
um, they frustrated us quite a lot. So it wasn't, you know, obviously the heat played a massive part in, in uh, you know, how we wanted to play. But I think as the game wore on, I thought the, the, the subs that we brought on, Benny Nicololo, great to have him back. Um, you know, he was probably the best player in the, the first round. Twisted his ankle and then today you saw at the end, you know, instead of trying to score a, th a third goal, he took it in the corner. So he's definitely been listening to me. Um, but, you know, Nikolai Muller coming on today as well. It's been frustrating six weeks for him. Um, we didn't want to rush him back from, from a hamstring injury, but I think you know you saw today that his calmness, the fact he can come on and just uh, just just dictate the game the way he did, uh, is a massive boost for us as well. Uh, once you're still missing Matty Simon, which is uh, again top scorer last season, still missing him. It's been frustrating, but look, hopefully he'll be back soon. Um, and yeah, look, it was nice today to to, you know, to have a little bit of experience on the bench. We've got a lot of a lot of kids, a lot of young players, um, but I think we've uh, you know, we've worked really hard pre-season to. To speed up their uh, development, you know, mentally as well, and and physically, I think you can see now, you know, Farrell, Steele, Maxi Ballard, these boys, you know, they've they've had some good experience now, and you know, they're really they're really taking to, to full time football and, and first team football, you know, like they've they've been playing for years, but look, there's a lot of improvement to make as well, and, and you know, we know that we got to keep improving as well, and, and don't take anything for granted. You did really well at uh, paying down the Wanderers as like two defenders with your both your strikers and like I guess finding those passes, particularly from uh, Oli in particular, to um as like I guess more wide areas so uh, Maresh or you're in a like kind of run of defenders. So I was just wondering like obviously that was a plan tactic before the game, but is that something you're looking at doing against more teams that play against four at the back? Is that a question for me or Oli? Oh, for you, sorry. Yeah, look, you know we uh, we know we've got a lot of pace up front. You know, Maresh is quick, uh, Marcos is is quick. So look, we know that if we can drag the full backs out, then you know we've got pace in behind. Um, but say so for Wanderers, they've got a good team, we've got a lot of experienced players. But I thought you know when we uh, when we did counter them today in the first half, we looked deadly every time. And, and Marcos again has had quite a couple, uh, a few chances, but his work rate today was superb. And, and him and Maresh, you know, I needed to make a, a couple of changes that, you know, in the heat was very hard for them. But look, tactically, we, you know, we analyse every opposition, same as most teams do, and then we come up with a game plan. But you know, it's one, once you step on the pitch, the boys have to execute it. And I think they showed a lot of discipline the last couple of weeks as well. Um, and, and for me, you know, we're a disciplined team, and and um, yeah, the boys stick to the game plan. It doesn't always go to plan, and on the pitch, the boys have got to, you know, uh, make decisions at times, um, which. Things are unpredictable, it's an unpredictable game, but I think all in all, the, the discipline that we showed today and, and the boys we have in the team, like all the leaders that we've got, we'll make sure that that game plan, we stick to the game plan and we don't we don't uh, move away from it. And I think we did that today as well. And just one quickly for Oli, I guess, um, obviously Gianni's since has departed in the summer and now you've got um, Ballard and Steel, and you, with one of Ballard and Steel with you in midfield. So I was just wondering on how that development has kind of uh, affected your style of play and what you think of the two midfielders, I guess they're rotating but next to you. Uh, you know, yeah, obviously we lost Gianni last season and he was a great servant for the club as well and moved on now and has done, you know, had a fantastic season last season and we're, um, you know, proud that he moved on to a to uh, bigger things as well, um, but uh, now we've uh, we've got two young players in with uh, Maxi and and Steely, who are uh, you know very high quality young players that are proving themselves at the at the A League level, uh, and uh, you know they're both exciting players. So it's great to have them in in uh, in the middle with me as well, um, and they both work hard and uh, they're trying to develop uh, develop as well. Thanks, guys. Thanks very much, guys. Any other questions? Oh, oh yeah. Sorry, one more. Um, so, Nick, um, obviously, this game and previous games, the Mariners have had a lot of goal uh, scoring opportunities that have gone begging. Um, with returning players from injury and also academy players coming up, can we see a uh, shift in the attack? No, I think we'll, we'll carry on playing the same way we've been playing. doesn't matter who's in the team. You know, They know their job. They know the role. And, and, and again, we've got to share goals around the team. But we keep creating opportunities, like Ollie said before. You know, we'll, we'll score goals, and that's what football's about. I mentioned there about Gianni Stensis. We lost to Luke Wall last year. We lost obviously Matty Simon this season. Jing Reese, another player that that, that 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 went overseas. So you know, like every club, we've had to bring in a lot of new players. I think Maresh has been superb. Urena, they're getting a good partnership, and, and again, Nikolai. You know, we're not going to rush him back. He got probably 20 minutes today, but he's still got a way to go. Um, but look, you know, we need uh, we need we need a strong bench as well, and. Um, you know, we've got a lot of young players coming through as well, but you know, 
they've got to be good enough. That's what I always say. They have to be good enough. You're not just playing because you want to play young players. They've got to be good enough. And I think the boys that are playing have proven that and, and they're leading the way for, for the boys and, and this club moving forward. But I say five games in, no one's getting carried away. It's a good result today. We've got a big cup game on Tuesday that will now we'll focus on that starting tomorrow. And, and, and the boys will be in tomorrow getting ready for that game against Apia. Yeah, so obviously Marin has got a rich history of um, academy players coming through. Um, the man on the man on your right, um, he's been obviously the captain. How important is it for him to be such a mentor to these to these young kids? Yeah, look, I played with Ollie. You know, I played with Ollie the season I came out here, and I like to think that I you know, passed on some some wisdom to him. He's had a great career. He went overseas. We kept in touch, and, and obviously when he came back here, I had a hand in bringing him back here because I know. This club needs players like Ollie and it needs leaders. And in the middle of the park, I think you have to have leaders in there. Um, and myself and John Hutchinson, you know, we we uh, we taught Ollie. You know, probably probably knows more than we knew anyway now. Um, but you know, I think you need that. The boys, the boy, the boys are honest here. They're hard working, and they listen to everything these boys say. And again, that discipline and just just you know, if you're from the coast and you've been at this academy, um, you know, we've said it before. Back in the day, we we brought a lot of young players through. There's a period where it didn't happen. And, and, and young players were getting opportunities when they didn't deserve it and, and for me you have to deserve it you have to earn it no one gives you anything for free and, and these boys have proved they've, they've earned it they've pushed and pushed and pushed and you know, they're performing but you know, they know that they can't take their foot off the gas because if they do then, then somebody else will come in and, and that's what we've got at the minute we've got competition for places so everybody's got, got to perform week in week out Beautiful any other questions? Yeah yeah, just one more. Finally, for you, Ollie. Um, obviously, the, there was a lot of, um, I guess, sketchy decisions by the ref um, made against you guys today. Um, what was the conversations like with the referee regarding some of those decisions? Uh, um, no, I think t- today was obviously it was hot. Uh, it, it was, uh, you know, yeah, yeah. The tempers were, you know, were, were high for for such a game. So, uh, you know, the ref made decisions. Some didn't. Some we didn't agree with. Uh, that's football. We move on. Uh, it's it's a lot easier to deal with when you win a game. Beautiful. Thank you, guys. Cheers, guys. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Thanks, guys.